guys, thank you so much for joining us live on ET's YouTube channel right now. I'm your host, Leanna Aguilera, and I'm so thrilled because two of my favorite Roswell, New Mexico boys, Tyler Blackburn and Michael Vlamis, are joining me right now. Hi, guys. Hello. How's it going? Good. Really you well. guys did a really great job. We were laughing up until that very last <laughs> moment, and then as soon as... We collected ourselves. Collected. Yeah, stop. Oh, stop yeah. laughing. Such actors. Okay, time yes, to be yes. serious. <laughs> I feel like we did a lot of that on set, actually. Like, we would be, like you know we'd have to really get into character quickly because i feel like you and i just got to like shooting the i feel message. like we had a pretty good time with it but i will say that you and michael trevino nope <laughs> any scene they did together no. for some, if they just all look, i did off. one scene or we did a you know i can't be giving spoilers away a or group scene like that. we did a group scene and uh even i was breaking up like i was busting up laughing throughout the take yeah. for no reason trevino and i we could not it's the energy it just together. makes you laugh you yeah know, trevino's got those great cheekbones i think Jeez, that's what yeah. does it your whole cast has great che cheekbones. Your whole <laughs> cast just looks real nice. There's something in the water in Roswell. Um, and for all you fans who are watching us right now, send in your questions for uh, Michael and for Tyler, because I will be getting them right now. Ooh, we're starting to get in a bunch right now. Oh. Um, but you guys, I've nice. got to say, congratulations on the premiere of Roswell, New Mexico. Fans Thanks. are already loving it so much. What has the reaction been like for you guys so far? You go first. Oh man, honestly, I, don't, I feel like you don't realize how supported and loved you are until something, if you do something, I feel like this, getting on a show is extraordinary, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I was not on a show a year ago, I'm very <laughs> grateful for being here, it's amazing, but the people that have just come out and been like, hey, I remember one conversation we had two years ago, and seeing you do this has you know, propelled me to continue acting, yeah. or you know, just keep believing in myself, and so it's just, I, I would say just like the support from family and friends is, it's hmm. almost been overwhelming, but at the same time, it's exactly what you'd want. I, I'd rather be bombarded with texts and love mm -hmm. than, yeah. you know, be alone. I, you know, I feel like I got to this point the right way, and I think people are aware of that, and I, I feel that love right now. I love following you on social media so that you can, I, you, you see all of the, <laughs> the, 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 like, you know Instagrams that your friends do and it's like all just like joking but yeah. they give you such a hard time and it's so if you don't follow him you have to follow him oh, by the way. he's follow hilarious this guy. Follow this guy. Um, <laughs> but no and I think that's great because like, like I, I this whole journey is like so cool to like yeah. watch somebody who is such a good person like go through so oh, like I, you know and, and we really we got to we spent uh, the premiere together like the whole cast so you know that was really fun too because it was just like this magic happening in, in a bar nonetheless yeah, people, in a bar. <laughs> with our kiss like people were cheering it was so in the fun. Bar. People were going crazy i mean like literally so right there the response was amazing but yeah like the social media response i think is, they're calling us malix malix i you think you already have your i think i mean I, it's amazing i, 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 I like that one right? i mean, I mean whatever you guys want to do i'm i'm okay with because yeah. Yeah. all right yeah because we've got michael and alex Malik's. I'm, Malik. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. What has it been like for you guys? Because we got to see your characters kiss a little bit mm -hmm. in the pilot. We know that there's gonna be a great love arc for them. How did you guys find that off that on screen connection off screen? Oh, I would say it was easy. Yeah, I mean. I feel like during the pilot, which we shot actually last uh, March, I think it was. Yeah, in like Albuquerque. In Albuquerque, we just, uh, I feel like it was like an unspoken agreement that we were just gonna dive right in. Mm -hmm. We were not gonna hold back in any way. No. Um, and, you know, I think Julie even said like that was her favorite scene, the kiss scene, or our kiss. People you know? were crying on set when that happened on the pilot. Yeah. And that was our last shooting day too. Yeah, it was literally the so last So it kind of really though. wrapped, it buttoned up the whole experience, you yeah. know, being out there for three and a half weeks with this like new family. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. And then that happening, you just felt very, uh, very proud to be a part of something mm -hmm. like that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But I mean, as far as like getting that energy flowing, you know, off, it was just like, I think honestly, two committed artists yeah. who were right. just like, let's just do this, you know? Uh, and I think that's all it takes actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have our first fan question in right oh, now. Yeah. Natasha wants to know, what do you like best about your characters? Oh, I like that mine's unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> I just can do anything I want, and I love it so much. Yeah, Michael, <laughs> give us Michael's alien power breakdown right now. What exactly can he do? So it's all, it's telekinesis, right? So, which kind of, you can do anything. You can levitate things with your mind. You can mm -hmm. blow things up. <laughs> I can touch somebody and they go flying. <laughs> um, That'd be fun. <laughs> the, my only thing, though, about my alien, the breakdown of my powers is that I just cannot control them. 
I'm loose cannon, so it's it's very in the show in real life. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting better. Say life, I'm life getting better. Yeah. Art. I'm getting I don't better. know. I feel like I think that he can control them. He just actively chooses not, not to. to. I, yeah, I think we actively choose not to control a lot of things <laughs> in our lives for sure. Yeah. Tyler, talk to me about Alex. Um, my favorite thing. I mean, it's hard because I feel like I understand him on like a pretty deep level, a mm -hmm. pretty human level. So I think, really, it's like the entire his entire arc of the season is is. I know it's such a broad answer, but it's like, that's my favorite part. Because you watch somebody who starts off the season um, I in one place, mm -hmm. mentally and, and physically, and you watch him evolve and, and change for the better. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think to, to play someone who has such a, a realistic arc uh, and, and have that opportunity w was great. One of the things that I'm so excited about is to see your characters start to interact with more characters on <laughs> yeah. the show. Mm. Because you as a cast, you guys are so close and you guys look like you have so much fun together. How did you guys bond together while you were filming in Santa Fe? Because it's such an itty bitty little town. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, <laughs> made it, I like that's what made it easy <laughs> to bond, yeah. you know? Yeah. We were kind of stuck with each other. Mm -hmm. But it was, in, it was from the pilot, from Albuquerque to the months off to going to Santa Fe, the cast immediately, um, it was one of those things when we called cut at the end of the day and you were offset, we wanted to be together again. Mm -hmm. Whether it was grabbing dinner or mm -hmm. drinks or just hanging out. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, we, I, yeah, in a weird way, we kind of couldn't get enough of each other. <laughs> is yeah, that, is that and everybody of? has like their own method too. Like I'm, I'm, I'm more of a homebody, so it was like, you know, like just, <laughs> I mean, because I- Remember when we went to the opera in Santa Fe? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's an opera. We it's beautiful, out, half outdoors, half indoors. I mean, it's a great opera. Yeah, it was stunning. But, but like, Tyler and I, at intermission, <laughs> we, we bounced. We're like, yo, let's go. Full disclosure, <laughs> full disclosure, I was a little hungover. <laughs> and uh, I just was feeling bedtime, you know? I'm old, I'm old now. <laughs> but also you're like, came, saw it, bye. Yeah. Good as night. soon as he said, like, I'm gonna get out of here, I was like, dude, I'll drive you <laughs> home, I'm gonna go too. Yeah. You know, the opera was great, but, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I love that the CW has really been leaning in to the crash day on the crash site. Mm -hmm. They had a really great premiere event in LA, mm. and you guys all went and bonded together as a cast. What was that like to see the grand scale of things that was all for your show? I thought it was cool. Crazy. I mean, There's they a really UFO in the middle of the street. Yeah. <laughs> on yeah. Sunset I know. Boulevard. Like what? And then the alien pods too were mm -hmm. really. Yeah, cool. that was cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's great to feel supported by everybody that's you know involved in this show. Like everyone's just like. Yeah, CW home. Warner Brothers Amblin. I feel like everybody has yeah. been just pushing it, and it's so cool that. Yeah. I feel like we're getting a really good response right yeah. now too. And it really yeah. was our first opportunity to s all sit and talk about the show, mm -hmm. which I was a little bit nervous about because it really was like such a, a labor of love, mm -hmm. you know? And so like that opportunity to really break it down was uh, was nerve wracking, but also really, really great, you know? Yeah. Um, Layla sent in a really cool question. She said, Tyler, do you have any advice for the kids who have to live with a tyrannical father like Alex's? How does it, it affect him in his life? Wow. Mm. So that's kind of two questions. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think it affects Alex quite negatively. Mm -hmm. um, he feels like he has to change who he is in order to be loved and accepted by his father. Uh, but I think that he's realizing that he will never be good enough for his father. So I think the lesson in it is to just do what you need to do to feel happy about yourself. And uh, you know, if people can't be on board with that, then scram. Yeah. You know. Scram. Scram. That's right. Scram. Uh, ooh, Amber wants to know, did you guys watch the original Roswell? And if so, uh, if so, what are your thoughts about it? Yeah, well, I actually, I was very familiar with the show, um, and especially the incident in 1947. Yeah. I had not seen the show prior to Booking, booking Roswell. Yeah, but I obviously went back, did my research. Um, but I really... I, I sometimes don't like diving in if you're gonna you know put your own spin on something yep. I don't want all these preconceived notions of how the character's supposed to be mm -hmm. or how the show's right. supposed to be I mean we're honoring the books and Melinda Metz's work but we're also definitely bringing our own unique flavor to yeah. it mm -hmm. and I think sometimes sure. it's good to just start from ground zero yeah I remember watching the show when it originally aired oh, I wow. think I was like 12 because I was like all about the WB like Buffy the Vampire <laughs> Slayer like all of that stuff <laughs> So I remember, I, I have like a vague memory of watching that. Um, but yeah, I didn't go, I didn't try to uh, rewatch it because similarly, I wanted to just like have it be an original, mm -hmm. you know, 
concept. Because we could never do what they did. Yeah. You know? Totally. And that's okay. We're, yeah. we're doing our own You're thing. doing your own path, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I think that's why we're not even calling it a remake, actually. We're right. really calling or it like a reimagining of, yeah. of a concept, mm -hmm. you know, and making it our own. So. Right. And also modernizing it and mm -hmm. just really bringing in a fresh new take. Um, Tyler, I love that you said that you, you used to watch all the WB shows and like yeah. watch all of them and like see, like, you're now one of these like heartthrobs. Both of you are a no, CW. No, he's the heartthrob. No, no, you guys get are. Out of Come here. on, this no. guy. Look this at bad him. boy. He, the bad boy is always the main. And you so guys bad. are CW heartthrobs <laughs> now. How does it feel? <laughs> I don't know if I. You feel know what? <laughs> you know what I really actually like about this show is that it doesn't it doesn't subscribe to like that formula. Yeah. Like this show actually has like so much more, um, like subtext mm -hmm. and substance, really. Right. And I think, of course, you know. You know it, it, the cast is really it is good looking. I mean, look at this face. No, Greek, Greek god. Get over get here. Out of here. But yeah. I feel like what really makes it special is that everybody's so talented yeah. and can like really make it so human. And a lot of layered characters. Like mm -hmm. as the season yeah. progresses, uh, there are tons of secrets in store. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Which, yes, things that you won't see coming at all, which is really fun. Yeah, and just like a lot of like one-liners that make it very relevant. I mean. Mm -hmm. The writing, I think, is so smart, mm -hmm. you know, so. Um, well, and yeah. shout out to executive producer Karina Adley McKenzie, That's who right. was formerly a television critic, so right. she's yeah. seen all of those tropes that have been done over and over yeah. again. So I feel like she's cherry picking the good ones and oh, putting yeah. them into Roswell, she New Mexico. Yep. She mm -hmm. understands exactly what she's doing, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And if she has an idea for something or someone pitches or something, I'll, I'll, she'll be like, oh, that happened in like season two, episode three of The O.C. Yeah. You know, and she knows <laughs> yeah. her, she's she's done done her research. homework. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The teen dramas, yes. yes they they are a good. cherished group of television shows. Yeah. I'm so right. glad you guys are part of it. Uh, we've got just a couple uh, more questions. Deidre wants to know, Tyler, have you tried recruiting any of your PLL co-stars to do a cameo on Roswell? Mm. No, the closest though, uh, was the idea of Troy and directing an episode because she directed uh, an episode of Pretty Little Liars mm -hmm. and then she directed an episode of Famous in Love, I think, as well. So yeah. I thought it'd be really great for her to direct. But then she went and had a baby. Then she went and had a baby. <laughs> but I'm sure that we could work something out. Yes, yes. Yeah, she's amazing and she's an amazing director. Have so. you talked to her since then? Since since she since she, she had her birthed? little baby, yes, <laughs> yes, she's very happy. I love it. Um, and lastly, uh, Marina says, "I'm really curious about their past and how did they meet? What kind of relationship they had? Will we get any flashbacks? Ooh, us. about you guys. Yeah, give us a little tease about their past. Oh boy, I'm like, what can we? I don't know say what we can say, say, but I will say that you will. All of that will be divulged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of it. Any questions? Well, I think one thing we can say is that everybody grew up together basically right so we have known each other for a while mm -hmm. um, but I feel like I don't want to say too much about how the relationship is, is formulated I really want you guys to watch it organically and be part of that yeah I'm gonna, pretty special I'm gonna put you guys on the spot right now what do you think their high school superlative was back then like I feel like Michaels was like most likely to like piss off the teachers or like you know what's kind of funny? I think with both of our characters, we were one thing in high school, and yeah. then after high school, we actually changed. Yeah, a lot. and you'll get a taste of that as the yeah. season progresses. So, so back then, I it might have been a little different. Yeah, yeah. it would have been a different. Because he was like extremely intelligent. Yeah, and, like, all like, all great test classes. scores, going off to college, doing everything you my, know potentially. My, and yeah, my character was more um, skater punk. punk. Punk, yeah. Which we see in the pilot in that image that you're looking at. Yeah. Right before the big kiss, you know? Yeah. Big kiss. A lot of stubble that hurt a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I had to get used to kissing somebody with facial hair. I never kissed a dude hair. with stubble before, you know? Only, like, only dudes without it. Only dudes without it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we expect more kisses? Maybe in episode two tonight. It's been so long Gosh. since we shot. I don't remember <laughs> what, what happened. Um, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat. I'm like, what does... Uh, shall I, shall I but you should watch and find memory? out. <laughs> trailer. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Uh -huh. tonight, tonight's gonna be interesting. Oh, I feel like we shot at that trailer so much. Yeah, we did. Um, I know what's happening tonight. I feel like yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you know what's happening. I know what's tonight. happening. You know. Yes. Um, yeah, you'll just watch. And, yeah. and all you fans, you'll know what's happening when you tune in to Roswell, New Mexico tonight at 9 p.m. on The CW. Yes. Yes. Uh, thank you guys so much for thank stopping you. by and chatting with me. Thank you fans so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, thanks. Thank you.